Yo, dude, where are you at? Oh, God. Okay, get it in. Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you there. Oh, <laughs> get that five in, dude. I'll see. I'll see. Hold on. I'll see you in a second. See you, dude. I'll see you in a second. Dude, he's got a giant. He said it might be a six. He said it's by far the biggest of the day, so. Let's go, hopefully we'll catch a couple. Staring at those city lights. Had some ugly days to get some pretty nights. Cut some people off, dreams take a sacrifice. Yeah, they want to make it, but can never pay the price. It's bigger than the four and, a, four and three quarter I just caught. Five point six. God, dude, five and a half. So, like, <laughs> I'm almost at 25 pounds. <laughs> and I've caught like 30 fish. This is the best day. Dude, that is wild. So I came out here, he hooked up to that big one, and then he hooked another four and a half that he just let go. It's wild out here. Let's hope we can get on some. Dude, big. Giant, dude. Giant, dude. Holy. Dude, that's a freaking giant. Dude, that's a big freaking fish. Unless I got her pinned funny, but no. Oh, dude, three and, a half, four? three and a half, four pounder. It's not as big as I thought, but holy smokes, dude. That fish chomped it head first, dude. Oh, oh, dude. That's awesome. On that little swank 77. Dude, that's a good one. I want to put it on a scale just because I got too excited and shaking first fish of the year. That's actually decent. That isn't a oh. Baker. Four one. Four. That's a four. Four one. Dude, you, you're the man. Hey, offering a dirt's guide service. I'll tell you what, dude. I come out here. Nathan's got these fish dialed in. I basically stole his fishing spot and caught this giant. That's a good one. It's all about sharing it. Whoo! Share it. Bye bye. Dude, that's sweet. Yeah. That fish throttled it too. Oh yeah. Like, dude, this is really it. Like you your boat is literally half the size of mine. Like, honest to God, half the length. And you have a trolling motor that probably is less than half the thrust. Yeah, mine's a 112. We are honestly exact exact opposites. And you throttle them, and I can come out right behind you and catch, I mean, the fish that you just caught. That's insane to me. So this is the tin can we were talking about yeah. in the other video, by the way. It 12 foot, but a frickin', that's a hammer can right there, dude. That catches some monsters. You be leading on grand right now. All I'm really doing is buzzing down the bank right now. Nathan figured out the depth, which is about four to six foot. Um, these fish are sitting on that grass line out there. And as long as you're in that four to six foot, you can catch some really big fish. So I'm just buzzing down the bank. Uh, six cents, swank 77. Ooh. Hey, is there anything I'm supposed to be looking for? Or just that five to eight with some grass on it? I caught the one right by the point. And then, oh, there's one. Dude, that's big. Right on the point. Dude, he choked it. That's like a four, three and a half. Okay, well, I'm gonna fish down this side maybe just a little bit longer now, because I just caught this one. God, that's a good fish. It's like a two and a half, three. 
Well, that's funny. I just called Nathan to kind of whine about not catching them. Not whine, but kind of pick his brain about what he's doing to actually catch them. Um, oh, dude, that barely hit the water. Nathan, what we basically just said was, dude, they're all grouped in the same area. So once you catch one, this might be a big one. This is a big one. Once you catch one, make a cast straight back to that same spot just like that and you'll catch another fish he's not that big but it's a pretty fish i mean that bait barely hit the water that's that bait right there that swank 77 from six cents and that's like a bluegill color that's a custom bait actually but that's a really pretty fish Let's see if we can't go three in a row and what it is right here too is i don't know if you guys can see it there's that wooden seawall and then right past three in a row. Right past that wooden seawall are a bunch of rocks. Ah, that's a pike. I just caught three in a row. I've literally caught three in a row and what they're sitting on is like a bank change where someone had put seawall, then there's some rock and there's like a little dip. And as soon as, if you can hit that dip, it's like as soon as the bait hits the water. Three in a row, Let's see if I can go four. I mean, dude, it's the same, it has to be the same cast. What makes this bait so unique uh, is the fact that it only dives like two to three feet and it runs horizontal. It's really designed for springtime grass fishing. Casey designed it with Sam Rayburn in mind where, for those of you guys that know Sam Rayburn, there's just a ton of grass and it works awesome up here in the spring because it's really tight wobble. It's got a really loud like one knocker system and it just catches a lot of really, really, really big fish. So if you guys are interested in picking up some of those baits, I have a 10% off code for you guys. Uh, all six cents products. The code is BEN10. I'll leave the link right here, BEN10, and uh, that'll get you 10% off your whole six cents lures order. And it'll help me out a little bit too, wherever you guys are living across the country. They got a whole bunch of different types of products. There, I knew I hit, hit a fish. Oh. That's a big one. I can't believe I just both flipped that fish. He's got really red chompers, and I think they might be eating crayfish. Uh, there's a ton of little bait fish like bluegill and perch up here shallow too. We're gonna put this on the scale just to see how big she goes, but I think she's about three. Three pounds exactly. Three pounder, that's a beautiful, beautiful fish. So yeah, like I was saying, before that fish interrupted my statement, get 10% off your six cents lures order to help you go out and catch some big fish this spring. God, that's so much fun. I have some stuff that's a little bit more protected from the wind, but, oh golly, God, that's a big one. Holy smokes, that's a big fish. Holy. Seems like all I have to do is talk to the camera and I catch him. That's a big fish. Stay down, baby. Oh, I forgot I have that out. Oh, yes. Dude, that's a chunk. Look how he ate that bait, too. Holy smokes. That bait is freaking gone. Check out that fish. I mean, that is a beautiful fish. Three pounds, six ounces. So this is absolutely insane right now. I've only been out here like a half hour. This is the bait that's doing all the work. Six cents lures, swang 77. Super loud one knocker rattle. Arc, crankbait rod. It's a composite rod, so it has some glass in it. That helps, especially when these fish are eating that bait coming back towards the boat, which has happened a couple times now. Um, and it's just perfect for this bait. So essentially crazy, crazy bite. I probably have four, seven, nine, 10, 12. Probably have 13 pounds with four fish. Insane. Oh, just like that. I popped it off that grass and that fish crushed it. Like I stopped it when it hit the grass and popped it out. No, that's not a big one, but that fish crushed it. I mean, she just barely got it, but that was so cool. That's a beautiful fish too. They're also healthy. 
it feels so good to catch fish like this because I really struggled last weekend. Like, you guys saw that 10 minute video, but I struggled hard core. Like, I fished hard last weekend and didn't catch them. So, this feels amazing. Oh, God, dude, he choked it. That's big, too. Oh, no, come up. He came off in the net. Oh. Dude, he came off in the net. Look how big that is, too. Derpy lip. Holy. Dude, he's got a derpy mouth. He's been caught about 14 and a half times. It wasn't really a full catch. It wasn't really a full catch. Four three. <laughs> Bye, Nathan. Drive safely. See you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, we are making a little bit of a move. I think we are in the right area still. My hands are freezing. I mean, it's cold. This wind is cold. The water's cold. Anyway, sorry. I think we're moving too far away from the main lake. Um, the water is only 50 degrees, 49 and a half degrees. So these fish aren't pushed all the way back up in here yet. And I've noticed I'm catching less and less fish the further back I push. We have about an hour and 15 minutes left. And this is exactly what I love doing. Like this is how I really got into fishing, shallow water, power fishing. I'm fishing a crankbait, a big heavy um, cranking rod. I mean, just a lot of fun. What's funny about this bait is that uh, I actually fished this bait for a while before it even had a name. It used to just be the prototype L. I got it at the Classic at Hartwell like three years ago. And I smashed fish on this bait. Like I crushed fish that first spring that I fished this bait. And what makes it so cool is that it's an awesome shallow water grass fishing bait. Oh wow, I got rocked. Shoot. It's an awesome shallow water grass fishing bait. There, that's a big fish. I don't know if you guys saw my rod. Wow, that's a big fish. That's a giant fish. It's a giant fish. Please do not come off. Please do not come off. Please do not come off. Oh, there's so many fish right there. Oh my God, that's a giant fish. Oh my God. And he came off. Oh no, he didn't come off. Oh, that is a giant. That is an absolute giant freaking fish. I do not know what it is, but when I am talking, zeros. When I'm talking, that's when I catch them. Oh, I really thought that fish was bigger than that. It says only four, eight, four, seven. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. That might put us right about 20. Four pounds, eight ounces. That is so cool. That's a beautiful fish. Thank you so much. So I don't know if I made my point clear yet, but holy smokes, does this bait catch them. This is an awesome, awesome shallow water, grass, power fishing style, spring, cold water bait. What makes it so cool is that it's uh, got a really tight wobble, super loud one knocker, comes through the grass really well. And that size imitates those early season bluegill, which is what I use it for. They have a bunch of colors, but I really like the bluegill patterns, especially up here in the north. Dude, I'm shaking. I haven't had a day like this in so long. Like, my hands are shaking, I'm cold. I also gotta give a huge shout out to my boy, Nathan, Dirty Dirds. Uh, I'll leave the link to his Instagram, but dude just straight up catches fish. I mean, he was crushing them before I got out here. He was crushing them when he left. So, huge shout out to my boy Nathan. It kind of goes back to that partnership deal where, God, I can't talk, where uh, we just share a lot of info, help each other try to go out and catch some fish. Wow, again, dude, crushed it. Dude, same spot too. Third fish off that same cast. Not in a row, but holy smokes. This one might be big. Another same size. Good fish.
Oh god, that's big. It's very good either. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh yes. Dude. <laughs> That is so funny. That is so much fun. That is so much fun. That is another four pounder. That's 20, that's 20 pounds easy. Zeros. Four pounds, nine ounces. Holy smokes. Holy freaking smokes. Oh dang, dude. Four and a half. Bye. I cannot express to you guys what I am feeling right now. I definitely have over 20. I have four over four. I have a three eight. There's another one. Next cast. Oh, shoot. I think it came off. A three eight, a four nine, a four eight. Four or four seven. Uh four three and a four one. I don't know. I have a lot. My heart, my hands. This is insane. Like these are this is uh, unreal. I know I there. Wow. He put so much slack in my line. I know I need to slow my crankbait down, but the problem is like when they're eating dude, did I lose another fish? Keep off again. I haven't been getting these fish good. And I, these hooks are bad. Golly, dang it. That was a big one. I know I need to slow my crankbait down because it's just how these fish want it right now. But it's so freaking hard to turn the handle slow when your adrenaline's pumping, you can't feel your fingers. Wait. There, big. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. God, please don't come off. It's like a submarine. Please, 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 please don't come off. Oh. She's not as big as I thought. That's still like, uh, maybe, maybe I'll go for Look how she got that bait too. Can't tell me she don't want that. I mean, when you net a fish and there's no hooks to actually get in the net because they're all in the fish, that's how you know they want it. Zeros. Maybe she won't go for it. Come on, settle down. Uh, about three and a half, three and a quarter. So if you guys want to order anything six cents, any six cents products, um, the Swank 77, which is the bait that I'm, God, big fish. Maybe I'm hung. The Swank 77, which is what I'm using right now. Or any Six Cents products, you can get 10% off your whole order. Using the code BEN10, capital B, capital E, capital N, the number 10, 10% off Six Cents lures. There, this bait came off. Fish. Fish. That's so cool, dude. The bait came off that stump. I was definitely hung, like 100% hung on that stump. I got the bait to come free and that fish inhaled it off of that stump. I don't know how long this video is, but there's a lot of really cool fish catches. Fish knocking slack in my line, fish crushing baits, fish jumping off in the net. Dude, insanity. So I'm going to end the video there. I know the video is already stupid, stupid long, so I'm going to keep this real short. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And there's going to be another video coming at you tomorrow from somewhere on the lake. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Tight lines. God bless.